Hey, Tethers in the water. Everything looks good back here. Roger. Yeah, I guess it's going down. Roger. Done. This is an audio slate for dive 1912. UTC time is 23.26.00 mark. Stations bridge, uh, we're back in TP. Roger, thank you. Roger, I'll check the box.
Hello, hello. Welcome to the 12 to 4 watch. Thank you for joining. Joining Nautilus Live. Hold tight and we will begin with introductions. Hey team, are we ready for introductions? I think we might need a little bit more time just to get situated. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Thanks for joining us, Wendy, from Long Island, New York. Welcome to Nautilus Live. We will begin introductions momentarily as we continue to get situated for our 12 to 4 watch. We have a wonderful crew on deck that does a great job with cleaning and sanitizing our ROVs between dives. How's everybody doing? Are we ready for some introductions? Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the second time me and uh, Kylie did that earlier. What? We said Roger at the exact same time. Oh. <laughs> We're really syncing up here. <laughs> That's awesome. Mind meld. Kylie and I had like an amazing mind meld last night too. We really like, just thought of the same thing at the same time and we're just like big light bulbs popped up above our heads. Yeah, but I needed, I needed the first one in order to get to the second one. There were just like these two like big light bulbs like shining above our heads. Can we tell them what it was? We were like, we want non-skid. We don't have non-skid. We can make non-skid. I said, yeah, like if we had tape and like put sand on it and she's like, Sandpaper. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> that is what that is. <laughs> but it was like, we really, it really went well. But with, with less talking than that. <laughs> Most of that was telepathic. Gesturing. <laughs> Opening Reaching <of> drawers. for drawers. <laughs> Spidey senses are tingling. It was good. It was real good. It was also 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And we were delirious. Welcome to the 12. Oh, yeah, we can, do, we can do introductions. But yeah, so hi, I'm Kylie, and I don't know what sandpaper is. <laughs> I'm Gabby, and I know many different kinds of sandpaper. <laughs> and that's why Gabby's our herd pilot. <laughs> that's right. In fact, I was very specific about the sandpaper I wanted to use. I wanted to use 40 grit emery paper. Ooh. Wow. Because it's yeah. not actually paper, it's on cloth. Mm -hmm. Much more water resistant. Nice. Professional. Smart. <laughs> All right, well, my name is Brandy Jones, serving as the Science Communication Fellow for the 12 to 4 Watch. Welcome to Nautilus Live. Passing it over to the birthday girl. Oh, why'd you have to bring that up? Yeah. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not wearing the hat. I didn't bring the hat up. <laughs> Why didn't you bring the hat up? Because Steve mentioned it, but I don't actually know where it is. Oh, we'll find it for you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we'll find something. <laughs> oh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amber Saravalo from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and I do not use sandpaper. I instead use a uh, silicon carbide grid. <laughs> now passing it over to our watch lead. 
Uh, hi everyone, my name is Megan Lubetkin and I am the watch lead. And occasionally I use sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> hi everyone, my name is Mary Deree. I'm the data logger. I don't really use sandpaper. <laughs> Ryan, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan Leung, and I am video engineer from Long Island, New York. Nice. So we're just going through blue water down to around 2,700 meters to start our next dive at a seamount northwest of Kingman Reef. We're calling it Seamount C. We should be diving for about 20 hours. Should be pretty exciting. We're hoping to collect a lot of rocks and um, see some corals and sponges and characterize this seamount, which has not been explored before. But for now, we are in the ocean twilight zone. <laughs> yep, so we're about 560 meters deep so far, and we'll be moving through the blue water which is usually actually black, since there's usually no light here. Uh, sorry about that. My skills were needed elsewhere for a moment. <laughs> uh, my name is Nia Beckler. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I am sitting at NAV today. And uh, it's good to be in the blue. Love Do you use sandpaper? Uh, you know, I have outsourced my sandpaper needs to my partner, who is a carpenter. <laughs> uh, he uses much sandpaper. I use none. <laughs> Smart move. Yes. <laughs> Split the difference. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, are we getting squid inked? I don't know. I think we might be. But only a little bit? while we're working. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amber, do you prepare um, melt inclusions for your work? I do not deal with melt inclusions. Okay. I think they are quite fascinating, but they are also very hard to deal with and to study. So I am glad that I have not had to deal with them quite yet. I thought and about it because they require sandpaper. <laughs> oh, do they now? All circles back. I did back. not know this. What's that? All circles back. It all circles back, indeed. <laughs> back to the sandpaper. The phrase blue water literally means blue water. If you look on the quad cam on Nautilus Live, you'll see cameras one and two shows blue water, literally. So our ROVs are descending and we are hoping to go as deep as 2,700 meters. in depth. 
Welcome, Australia. Is that a siphonophore? There, I think so. Looks like it. Are you telling me I'm trendy? <laughs> I'm an influencer. Raj. <laughs> trendy, it sounds so good when you say it. <laughs> There's like different versions of it too, right? So in the Gulf, they say Rajo. Oh. Yeah. So if you work with people like on a Schwest boat or something, they say Rajo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Gulf Coast, for sure. <laughs> All the Schwest boats are out of Louisiana, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, totally. Cool. I have a hard time. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Someone was asking about the pronunciation for Gayo. Is it Gayo? G. Guillot. There you have it. Guillot. day. Go for it. I'll, I'll go tomorrow. Oh, hmm. uh, y'all sure? <laughs> Let's see. I feel like, so I was very academically oriented and I took like eight years of Latin. Wow. And that has made my crossword game like exceptional. And yep. then I took like a lot of information theory in grad school and that has made my wordle game real good. See, so like never let anyone tell you that Latin and information theory like doesn't pay off. Charlie is the same way. He took Latin and ancient Greek and ah, he can awesome. do crosswords like crazy. Yeah. It's like infuriating. I'm still reading the clues and he's like <laughs> done with the <laughs> puzzles. <laughs> yeah. It, like these games are like all have their, all have their tricks, right? Oh yeah. They're all about patterns. And if you've studied the thing that has the same patterns as them, then like you're good to go. Yeah. Ooh. What is that? What's mean? your, what's your in with crypt cryptograms and what is a cryptogram? Um, a cryptogram is, um, it's like a coded, 
a sentence or a phrase. Um, okay. So it ha it's letters, but yeah. they represent other letters. Um, and an easy one I will always find is um, people, because the, the placement of the uh, P's and the placement of the E's in people make it easy to find that in a word. And then you have your E's, your O's, and your L's, and that fills in a lot of other stuff. So you have to don't try. Don't look at me like that. I mean, you said <laughs> something that I'm sure made a lot of sense from a cryptogram perspective. But yes, I, but not to me. It didn't I actually didn't really, really know what people had to do with it. Yeah. Like so the word people yeah. is a, is like the way that you start with like irate or crate or canoe. Yeah. Finding people for me is like because it's a unique um, okay. word pattern yeah. where the consonants and where the e the vowels fall. And okay, so you get a sentence and you have to decode it. Yeah. And you and have to figure out. Is there, um, is there like, <laughs> just a random substitution of letters for other letters, or is there a relationship like they're all shifted like nine letters? It's or, random. Okay, it's random. Huh. So I I saw a really interesting cryptogram recently that I think, uh, Gabby, you would you would appreciate. Oh yeah. Let's Instead it. of it being just like jumbled letters, uh -huh. it was all different dogs <laughs> oh. tell me more oh. say more so it, it literally looked like a paragraph okay and instead of a letter each instead of a word it was made a, of letters it each was a letter dog was a dog breed that's oh funny and then you have a piece of paper I and everybody is trying to decode this Ooh, paragraph what is that? kylie was telling me we should do this with whales literally no yesterday when i was drawing like a picture kind of, of a gelatinous whale. i oh. said imagine if each different type of whale was a different letter and i was like what are you talking about oh and i speak whale it's real. and then she bought in and was like yeah if we had them Vertically, that would be capitalized letter, and then if they're horizontally, they're just like a normal case. It'd be very long. We'd have to use a lot of pages. We, it's whales are long. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have to do it to scale. Yeah, but whales, <laughs> like, weren't we talking about how like the bigger the creature, the slower metabolism, like the different experience of time, right? Like they've got time. Oh yeah, we can speak whale. It just takes longer. Yeah, that's okay. It's like ants. They're flying. You know, Remember and they're ants. Yeah, like, tree beard. They take like forever just to like say hello. Just watched the movies like right before I came out again. I'm t taking everything I have not to just start quoting the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you, you can do one tree bird beard quote if you want. Can I? I'm trying yeah. to think of a good one. A, a tree beard quote. Tiny yeah, the end. Ox. <laughs> 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 Never heard of those before. <laughs> I feel like we've gone off the deep end here. <laughs> no, I feel like we're very much still on the rails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like we, we got here from cryptograms, and that's <laughs> and like we got the cryptograms from Wordle, and Wordle is very front and center. We're officially though having the nerdiest conversation that you can have. We're going from <laughs> yeah, but like. We we around. operate robots in the deep sea. That's true. It's very on brand for us. <laughs> Not a surprise. <laughs> very on brand. Thank you for the tree beard quotes. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, totally. How's our, uh, uh, ooh, a little shrimp shrimp. Shrimp. Very photogenic shrimp shrimp. Mm -hmm. Dancing shrimp.
Welcome to Nautilus Live. The depth will be at 2,800 meters. We will be diving for 20 hours today. How long do we think it's going to take us today to reach the bottom? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, let me math it out, huh? How quickly are we descending, Abby? How quickly are we descending, Gabby? How quickly are we descending? Raj. Okay. Bridge now. Uh, I'm going to take I back down for just a second. I'm going to take high pack down for just a second, just for your awareness. Thank you. Welcome to Nautilus Live, Colorado. Thank you for joining in. All right, team, we have a request. Can each of you share your favorite deep water sightings or discoveries? Hmm. That's a toss up now. Uh, jumped several already this. on this cruise or in general or up to interpretation in general hmm. do you have one brandy um my favorite one was seeing the um I got really excited when we saw that jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I really like that jelly. That was very it cool. It was beautiful. And if anyone uh, tuning in, it's on our website, nautiluslove.org. It's 
one of the new highlights. Sure is. And then the swimming Serianthus. Mm -hmm. What was it yesterday, two days ago? Time is irrelevant out here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know when that was anymore. <laughs> and then the whale fall. Oh yeah. It doesn't look like the video of the jumping uh, Syrianthus is up yet. <gasps> but I'm, I'm looking forward to it as a yes. highlight. Yes. That will make a great highlight. It was quite something was so to watch. Cool. And then the gulper eel. That was quite nice. And then anytime we see a Chanakops. Mm -hmm. Front row, do you guys have any favorite sightings? Oh yeah. Um, I think the sear toothed octopus will always be my favorite. Um, but I really liked that jumping anemone yesterday. I thought that was pretty <laughs> special. Yeah, it was. Um, I love the deep staria. Yeah, They're so haunting. I've seen them filmed a couple times. I love these creatures that you can film by just sort of drifting next to them. <laughs> and like, you just have like the lightest touch on the stick and you just sort of get to swim with them. And it's like such a cool experience um, to sort of like feel what their propulsion might be like and like just drift along with them <laughs> through the water. Will uh, the little Atlantis and little Herc sell out it during any of the expeditions this year? I don't know the answer to that. No. Some of that stuff is yet to be planned, mm -hmm. um, exactly how it will be used this year. Um, the plan is not to use it on this cruise. So they, I guess we'll see. They are on the ship, so we'll see they'll be deployed. If you could turn into any deep sea creature, what would it be? Ooh, I like this question. What was Immortal the question? Immortal jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be... be Double octopus. Sea. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, if you could turn into any deep sea creature, what would it be? Well, oh yeah, absolutely. And I'm these days I'm thinking beak whale. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah, Ooh. beak whale would be cool. I think I'd be a killer whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're having a good time. You know, they're always jumping and eating stuff. They are always <laughs> jumping. And they eating are stuff. sure doing those things. <laughs> <laughs> they Can you relate to that? Playful. They're so uh, social. Yeah. And I just love the idea of being so incredibly massive, but living in this space where it like has no bearing on yeah on matter. your life. You have infinite space to swim around in, and you're flying, which is pretty cool. Jumping is not up yet. It's a slime star and the chimera. Are jumping an enemy? Yeah, it's not a highlight yet. Yeah, I'm waiting it's to so see good. it. Don't I want to relive it. I know who the digital media <laughs> coordinator is. You know, know somebody? I know where she lives. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was so ominous. Like, in the same room as you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to get on I'd that jumping. I'd be like, oh my god, did you see that incredible 
highlight we have Yeah, here. tell her to get right on that uh, <laughs> jumping an enemy because it's very important to me to see that. I'm so bad at being subtle. Is that like, how you're getting Setting people for up for what I want, you know? Like the other day with Steve, like, I don't know how to set up a compliment without asking for it. <laughs> Can you just <laughs> tell me what a good job I did? <laughs> hey, so what did you feel about what we did? <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty straightforward guy, right? He came back and he's yeah. like, well, we've gotten that one before. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good. I'm going to actually get it from Julian so we can get the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah? Yeah. Good one. Because I want the, the whole slurp. I want the cutting process. I want the slurping process. I want <laughs> yeah. it was really fun to the watch whole the shebang. Thing. Yeah. You want an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed it. <laughs> Give me my EGOT. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got a Tony for that one. <laughs> jumping an enemy uh, musical. <laughs> Everyone needs to get on writing that. I would absolutely watch that. <laughs> and the EGOT goes to Kylie. <laughs> no, no, no. Goes to the 12 to 4 watch. <laughs> <laughs> we all get to go up on the stage together. And yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> what would you, oh my gosh. What would we wear? Do we each have an arm and then the an award? But the thing is, like, an EGOT Don't is, like, four. it's four awards, right? So we'd have to go up four times. Like, the Oscars were, like, I'm, what, two I'm, nights ago? I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to, like, yeah. roll out the red sandpaper for us. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I can wear my best uh, car hearts. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put my, my elbows It's an oxymoron. <laughs> and today, Gav is wearing car heart and um, what? That's actually a Nautilus t-shirt. Very in, so that would work. <laughs> steel yeah. We're trying to out here. Um, my steel tone blennies, I get so many compliments on them. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I've looked at the steel tone yeah. blennies. Yeah, and uh, Rennie looks at them all the time, and he keeps wondering about whether he can wear, like, ankle socks with them. Because he likes to go with the, like, rolled up pants. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. I, I, I've seen his ankles. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But I wear rolled up pants, and I certainly don't only wear ankle socks. And the answer Sometimes is you, show up you can't wear ankle socks with these. Like, you, there's a lot of a lot of seams and stuff. Uh, and yeah, I would imagine there'd be, like, friction in terrible, the terrible lower calf area. area. Friction in the boot. Yeah, not, yeah. A good, not a good move. But if you are comfortable wearing socks that show... It is the right move. It can be a statement, even. It, I think so. How I mean, Jess wears her socks as statements. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How else will they know I have ocean themed socks every day? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. if there was mosquitoes <laughs> at sea, Jess would be so prepared. Or like ticks and stuff, because she t tucks her pants into yeah, her yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah, always. She's ultra exactly. prepared. Wow, that's tick She doesn't even live in tick territory. <laughs> I guess she does right now, but. Yeah. Or like Jake with his um, uh, graphic socks and tie dye crocs. Oh yeah, yeah those, those are really <laughs> the good. The tie-dye crocs. Um, I mountain bike with a girl who gets all her socks on the ferry, and like you know, ferry gift shops have like really dumb socks all the time. Oh my god! Ferry boats have gift shops. I mean, where we are, they do. That's yeah, this cool. is a really? very unique to Victoria <laughs> situation. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, th I think that means you live in an area <laughs> that might have some tourists. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that and a lot of ferries. Like a lot of fairies. Have you like it's like, of course, there are gift shops at train stations too, right? We're it's talking about boats, thing. not the magical creatures, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, no? I was like, what are we talking about here? Because <laughs> both mean, would be I'll the best answer. answer. <laughs> Either like way fairies on fairies? No, yeah. if fairies were going to live anywhere, they would live on Vancouver Island. There's no question. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Yeah. They're like cousins of And people New actually Zealand. build like little fairy gardens all over the place. Oh, yeah. they do then, that like, in Iceland too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They do oh, that in Oregon also. Yeah. It's so. uh, Oregon and Vancouver Island have a lot in common, <laughs> a lot including trees. Canadians. They, yeah. There's a lot of Canadians in both places. <laughs> it's in Maine Canadians also. Canadians love your state. Oh, I love that. We love yeah. Canada. Yeah. But not Washington? Could we set up an Oh, uh, they usually just skip right through Washington. <laughs> <laughs> just pass it through. <laughs> yeah. um, no, once you get to Oregon, it feels like you're back home again. Like, <laughs> somehow. This is the greatest compliment you could have paid. Oh, really? To, to we as a state. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we want very badly to be Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Oregon's nice. Oregon's yeah, great. I feel like if somebody from Vancouver Island is going to go on a vacation and isn't willing to go all the way to Baja, they go to Oregon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go vacation somewhere else, like your house. That's nice. <laughs>
It's like home. But souther. But different. <laughs> Now, I've got a segue back to the socks business. Okay, yeah, bring it back I, home. I, I need to know now, who, what types of socks are everybody wearing? Are we all wearing funky socks? Like, I, I have triceratops on my socks. Oh, my God. When I was socks? three, I wanted yes. to be a triceratops when I grew up. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. And a veterinary. Well, that was a, a little. A triceratops, or, or veterinary for a triceratops. No, I oh, wanted whoa. to be the triceratops. <laughs> Like for Gosh. a while. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I had one of those uh, pterodactyl little stuffed toys that had that Aww. battery and the sound maker inside when I was three. <laughs> you know, most amazing things ever. I have to say I'm wearing mismatched smart wall. Pink and a different color. Of Pink and different. <laughs> <Give me Raj. laughs> what do you I got? Have, I have no socks today. Whoa. <gasps> it's cool. Oh, because your, wow. shoes, your shoes allow that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing uh, close toed sandals. It'd be really difficult to wear socks with those. <laughs> but but, but, but the octopus really. socks, <laughs> Nia. <laughs> what? The octopus socks. They're squids. They're oh, squids. And I my wore bad, them last night bad. and then I didn't launch, so oh. I didn't wear them today. Because okay. <laughs> that would have been bad luck. <laughs> and they do match my uh, teal Birkin socks really Oh, nice. that does sound nice. <laughs> I'm glad I went with fun socks today, since we're being asked this question. Yeah, what did yes. you wear? Okay. I just have some cheetah print socks on. Nice. I love that for you. Thank That's you. Like, what kind? <laughs> cheetah. Into cheetah, that. oh, good one. Like actual cheetahs or the cheetah print? Print. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on. Everybody's different, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my jacket's made of snakeskin, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, uh, I is it snake have, print like, or is little, it? <laughs> I meant did it have little cheetahs Pictures on it. I know what you meant. I knew you, what you she meant. knew what I meant. I did too, but I don't know why you didn't asked. come across that. <laughs> we are going to hear from Peter now, so <laughs> just know. <laughs> Several many tigers on our feet. Uh. <laughs> How are all my cats and kittens? Uh. It Gabby. really felt like a reasonable question at the time. <laughs> it, I feel, it does feel reasonable. I Thank know. You. Thank you. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. You'll have to be sorry. Uh -huh. Just don't let it happen. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry, but be sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry, actually. <laughs> That's one of those good laughs. <laughs> It's good for your soul. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if we suddenly go quiet on SBL. Traveling through the blue. <laughs> it's because this is we're what all we laughing. do. <laughs> I think this is why we're not on blue water more often. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've strategically banned us from blue water. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody's out there and has any science, <laughs> science questions, please, please ask. Please recommend. Yes. By the way, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, this might bring you slightly more on the rails than all of us, too. Do you play the Canadian version of Wordle? There's a Canadian Wordle? Apparently, Are someone uh, sent it in to the, to the chat. You've got to be kidding me. Knuckle, is that what it says? Oh yeah, they wanted you to know that there's um, a Canada version of, of Wordle called Knuckle. So that in, sounds in Knuckle, about right. all <laughs> of the all of the vowels are gonna have a U next to them. Oh. It's just you need more. All your words are gonna have to be longer because Raj. we can't be in this like what is it five letter or whatever that we've been doing. It's <laughs> gotta be six. Use yeah. <coughs> just. Need, need space for the use. 